I'm Corey Edwards. I'm the Senior Assistant Superintendent at Lake Nona Golf and Country Club. So when I was 13, I started raking bunkers with my stepfather at a small golf course in Indiana. I worked my way up from there, started mowing green, started mowing everything else on the golf course, and then I got interested in the science behind the turf grass. What I love most about what I do is I'm outside 95% of the time. I wake up to this beautiful Florida sun every day. I'm not working in an office and every day it's something new. The kind of qualities that would make someone successful here is you got to be detail oriented. We're very big on small details because small details go a long way here on the golf course. I guess the whole goal of my job is to get a little white ball into a little white cup. Once you get past that, there's a lot more details. There's floriculture all around the holes, how, how the flowers play into the hole. We have to be somewhat of an arborist because we have to know different trees, we have to know different tree diseases, we have to know what trees are going to work well on the golf course, what trees aren't. So we're always problem solving, we're always uh, trying to find new ways of doing things, better ways of doing things. Your local golf courses most of the time will only require a high school diploma. Some higher end courses will start to require a four year degree, but also there are mid-level courses where you only have to have a two year certificate or even some colleges they offer a six week course. The main thing that sets apart a home lawn from a, from a golf course green is probably the height of cut. Your home lawn is probably mowed close to three inches tall, whereas we're mowing our golf course greens under a tenth of an inch tall. Also, your home lawn is purely for aesthetics. It's to make your house look appealing and look good. Whereas here, it is a playing surface, so it has to react well to the golf ball. There is an element of design into uh, a golf course, how the golf course flows with the terrain around it. The different trees surrounding the golf course can affect how the golf course plays. There are different chemicals that we can use, that we can apply to the green to uh, speed up growth, to uh, slow growth down. There are different fertilizers that we use. There are uh, several different kinds of grass. They're mostly broken down into cool season and warm season grasses. Cool season grasses grow anywhere in between 55 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit whereas warm season grasses grow anything above 60 degrees Fahrenheit up all the way up to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Here at Lake Nona, we are overseeded throughout the winter, so we grow two different kinds of grass here depending on the weather and depending on the seasons. We don't have to wait weeks and weeks and weeks for us to know how we did. We only have to wait a few days, sometimes even a few hours, to see uh, how well of a job we did or how wrong of a job we did. I love working in the green industry because I love the small nuances of the science behind the turf grass and the small things that I can do to set my, set my golf course apart from other golf courses around. I would want the students to know that it is a lot of hard work out here, but it is very rewarding. Mm -hmm.